Welcome to NAB Show New York. On an immersive show floor full of cutting edge companies, you'll find solutions and discover alternative workflows in a whole new way. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Chris of Panasonic, hello. Hi. Hi. Good to be with you. Good to be with you. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Can you tell me where does Panasonic stand right now in the media and broadcasting market? We're a leading provider of all kinds of equipment to that industry, both all the way from cameras and display kinds of things to what we're going to talk about today, which are, is our live production platform. Very nice. And speaking of which, what trends are you noticing right now in, as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting world? Yeah, there's sort of that common idea of we've got to produce a lot more, you know, get really creative, put a lot of content out there to many different applications. Oh, but by the way, you can't add any people. You got to keep it simple. You got to keep it compact for me. And so that that sort of doing more with less theme is something we're seeing a lot of. And what are you showcasing here currently at NAB New York? So here we have um, both our cameras and displays, but also the Keros uh, live media production platform that we're talking about today. And can you tell me a little bit about some of those products? Sure. Let's let's really talk about Keros because that's sort of my area of expertise and. And uh, actually here what we're trying to show is a, a, a SMPTE 2110 production environment. Um, and a lot of times when you think of uh, that kind of environment, people think big switchers, big network, lots of you know, peripheral devices, and that certainly is true, and that kind of production platform can sit in that environment. But also it's very possible to bring that down to be a very flexible network in a small kind of scenario. With, with Keros actually sitting at the middle of it to do your switching and connection to the external devices, and to not have to bring in the, the massive infrastructure that's sometimes required for that IP scenario. And can you speak any more about your latest developments or what we could expect from Panasonic in the near future? Sure, absolutely. Um, Keros is used primarily for switching, um, and we've just, we've just introduced here at the show a, a couple of new models that are providing a much wider uh, input capacity as well as processing capacity. It gives us a lot of flexibility to do both the traditional sort of streaming or broadcast outputs, but also to do screen management and to fit into a lot of other applications where you have a live audience and you're trying to convey that event to someone who's remote. Well, we certainly look forward to what's to come. It was a pleasure speaking with you today.